Hello everybody. How you doing today? Uh, today we're gonna make. Uh, we're, we're going to the store to the grocery store to buy ingredients for various things, including we're gonna make split pea soup today, and I'll show you how it's done. It seems like it's pretty easy. Maybe too easy. Anyway, it involves ham and involves split peas and then you uh, also dice up a bunch of carrots and onions and that's pretty much it. So we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Alright, bye now. Well, first step is to and, and then print out the uh, the recipe. And then I'm going to take that recipe to the grocery store. So I have like a list of ingredients. Split pea soup. It's a serving in six, ready in two hours, 15 minutes to prepare, to cook, an hour and 45 minutes. So basically it has the following ingredients. That's some olive oil, um, chopped onions, one and a half cups. So that's a medium sized yellow onion. Uh, which we happen to have. Also, I bought a leek at the store, so I'm gonna make a little uh, leek in there instead of uh, replace some of the onion with a leek. Yeah, I think it might give a kind of nice flavor. I was warned though, you have to wash it really good because the leek is like a celery stalk. It, it, it has a lot of dirt inside, go figure. So we'll clean that up pretty good. And we have to have put in a one and a half uh, cups of chopped celery. They say about three stalks. Um, one teaspoon of minced garlic. And I'm real careful with garlic because I really don't know much about it. And I have never cooked a lot with garlic. So it says one clove. And here's my question. Is a clove just one of the little sections or is it a whole thing? You know, I don't really don't know that. So anyway, it says one teaspoon, so I'm going to go that way. I think it's going to be just one piece of the inner thing. And then the people say, oh, you just peel it and mash it and all this. So I'm going to try it. Yeah, it starts the recipe. you got to get that. I'll tell you in a second. Well, then you got four cups of uns unsalted chicken broth, two, four cups of water, one 16-ounce bag of the actual split peas, uh, you got to pick them over and wash them and rinse them real good because you can get little pieces of something in there too. So anyway, uh, that then you do not have to soak them like the night before. It says you don't have to. Uh, two bay leaves we have. Uh, one and a half teaspoon of fresh thyme. I might have that. Or it says give me a half, a half of a teaspoon of it dried. So we'll see what we got there. Fresh uh, ground pepper, salt, and one and one half a pound a meaty ham bone. I didn't buy a ham bone and I didn't buy a ham shank. What I did buy was a ham steak and it has a bone in it. So I'm hoping that's good enough. And I'm gonna dice that up in a little, like, little less than one inch cubes. Uh, then we have uh, one cup chopped carrots. I've got the little tiny uh, ones. I'm just going to throw those in, maybe cut them in half. Uh, ch chopped fresh parsley. We decided that's just silly uh, for garnish. It's optional anyway. So you heat the oil in the big pot. I got a big pot. And then, uh, well, I can show you how this works in, in the kitchen. Hold on a second. Uh, here we are in the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to show you the ingredients real quick just because we already talked about them. They also said in the last bit of the instru instructions, excuse me, if desired, you can add a couple of yellow or red potatoes when adding the diced carrots to the soup to make it even heartier. And the carrots, 
Oh, they come very at the end before you cook it for an hour and a half-ish. Okay, meanwhile, add the carrots to the soup. Cover the soup and let it continue to simmer. Uh, stirring, so they only want to cook the carrots about a half hour. Uh, sounds good. All right, and the last thing is you stir the ham into the soup. That's odd. Uh, and there you go. That's it. That's the final stage. So let's get to it. That's the pot we're going to start with. And then here's our ingredients. We're going to have some carrots in it. Although this is a pretty big bag of carrots. I thought we had smaller ones. We're going to have a slab of ham. We got celery, little celery stalks that I'm going to chop up. And uh, I can't help myself. Uh, mushrooms. And then of course you got the onions. Onions, as they say. And then one last thing is leek. And we got one that's kind of a big one. See it? It's like a jumbo leek. And I don't know, I think you cut rid of all this and then just cut it. I gotta wash it real good. Wash everything real good. Um, and the actual uh, peas are gonna be up here. Split peas, I don't know where she hid those. We got the, the chicken broth. I think one of these is two cups. And then we got um, everything but the main ingredients. Here it is. She left it right out in the open. There it goes. And I'm going to give those a little rinse too. All right, so I think we're ready to start to chop and then we'll sizzle later. All right, I'll. Uh, but rather to uh, rinse them and then uh Take a look at that one, yummy. All right. Okay, I think I'm getting it peeled. There, uh, it seems to be like peeled. No. My brother-in-law, Scott, said, you just take a knife, give yourself on a broom, and then smash it. And then smash it. Well, so far it seems to work. Thank you, Scotty. All right, and then... So, two cups, I think. It's a uh, easy open can, no pull tabs anymore. How oh, nice. Uh, I think this is uh, one cup, two cups. Uh, 1.16, two cups. All right, now we're gonna tap this off in water. Let me just double check my recipe. Always remember to double check your recipe. It's calling for four cups, not two cups. 
There's the water, two drops all I can have to get another. Now, I can dump this in because this container is four cups. Always use containers to measure your items most accurately when it, it'll build itself. Thank you, sure that. So, looks like a pretty good mixture. Some of my leaks are stained. Oh boy, it's not like I hoped it would be. They're like cemented in on this metal bowl I got. Jeez. Look at that. Who would have thought peas have a, like a, a natural adhesive to them? I remember one time I was making something with blueberries and I accidentally sort of burned some blueberries onto something. And did I discover, I think they should be used for like the, NASA should use them for the O-rings. They want to, hit, they're like barnacles. Uh, yeah. Alright, so our peas are in. Now we're gonna do one more meat thing. Uh, so this uh, slab is 1.76. It's a good product. I think sugar nails are pretty good. It's fully cooked anyway, ready to eat. It's already smoked. What could be better? But try to use it before February 9 of 2023. So let's do that. Now, a lot of these hands will add a lot of uh, fluids. So when you're opening a container like this, try to do like that. The line is falling apart. Okay. That's, maybe I have to do it with two. There we go. See? And there's like two, a good ounce of fluid in there. Then I don't want it all over my table. And it goes down, ooh -hoo. That looks pretty good. The whole secret of dicing ham is... See, they want that bone. I don't know why. It's something about the bone. A lot of recipes call for it. The ham shank, ham bone, that's gonna go in the soup. Now the rest of it, we're gonna, it's all about bite size, you know. Pea soup, split pea soup, was deemed, it was, she's a say star quality. She's hollering at star quality. <laughs> so it was a big hit around here. 
I'm telling you, it's good. And I finished her off, and I'll tell you, there was a couple more steps we took. Um, you know, I tasted it and it needed just a little bit more heat, I guess. So I sprinkled in some red chili uh, flakes, just about maybe 20 of them across the surface. And then I, I slowly stirred them in so that they would uh, get uh, wet and uh, release their heat. And uh, that was one thing. And then we also fished out the bone. There's a round, uh, like a round steak bone. So we fished that. So I was just going to finish up by saying that our soup was a big hit. Um, we did a couple more things to it in that uh, we, we hauled out the ham bone, which was only a little round guy like that. And then we, uh, we put up a, a mixer handheld mixer in it and mixed it. Judy did actually. And she it, it, it went through everything, kind of blended it all, a mixer blender, and blended it. There's still some ham chunks and some carrot chunks, but overall it's pretty blended and it became like this creamy uh, wonderfulness. And she said it was I forgot what she said. A rock star. No. What did you call the soup, honey? Um, star quality. Oh, star quality. And then she blended it, too. And I think I might have mentioned that. I did throw a few flakes of that uh, chili flakes. And that gave it a little bit of heat. And, ooh, is it delicious. So we're enjoying that. Oh, you saw we made well, you know, we made uh, eight cups of fluid was added to it. So you can imagine that's, I think that's about a gallon of soup or more. So it's, we've got a, a big, like a little vat of it <laughs> in the refrigerator. And I suggested we toast up some like toast and you, the little toast ends, you know. So when we eat it, we can, you know, lap it up a little bit too. So we're happy today. It's been a wonderful uh wonderful day at home here. So I'm done. Have a nice evening. Good night.